Hello everybody, my name is Jeffrey MacPinlack, aka Jeff Mac, and I just wanted to share with you some things that I'm going through, um, things that are happening in my life that I do not know how to explain, and maybe by sharing this video with others, I'll get a deeper meaning or explanation myself, or I'll attract someone that can give me their explanation, advice, or their perspective, or at the very least, I'll just keep this you know, energy going, because this is a beautiful thing, amazing wonderful thing that's happening right now, I just do not know how to explain it. And once I figure out how and what I'm doing right, and I can share it with others and I can share this feeling with others. And that's my whole goal. The first story I wanted to share with you is, um, I've, I've talked about this in the past, where if you're here and you have a goal here and you want to achieve this goal, you need to um, get yourself to a level where you believe that you can actually achieve this, where you can make this a reality. You need to believe that you already have it before physically having it in your life. You have to have it in your mind first. Um, there's a lot of tools, exercises to help you with that. One of them, I'm kind of walking around cautiously because on the floor I have my vision board pieces um, for a vision board that I'm working on. Basically, a vision board is a poster board that you have and you get cutouts from magazines or from the internet and you post pictures of your dream car, vacation spots you want to go to, love goals, a house you want, things like that. And by seeing this on a daily basis, your vision board, it makes it seem real because you see it and you look at it every day and you get to a point where you're like, you know what, I can achieve that. I already have it. I already have that car. It's coming my way. I'm moving towards it. It's moving towards me. You get to that feeling and it just helps you, motivates you, helps you get closer to that goal. Um, along the similar lines is there's something, an, a, an exercise where you could print out your bank statement and you get a pen and you cross out the balance and you put right in the balance that you want. So let's say your, your total balance is like $1,000, but you want $100,000. So you cross out the $1,000 and you put in $100,000. And you look at it, it's something physical, tangible, you can look at it and um, you, you, it just makes it seem more real. You can look at it and it helps you achieve that reality. Um, but for me, I'm like a perfectionist. So two weeks ago, I worked on mine and I completed it, but I think like writing with a pen to me just doesn't get me like motivated inside because to me, I know like, oh, it's my pen. So I have a graphic editing programming on my computer and I just randomly, so I have four bank accounts, you know, business, personal, and the fifth line is the total. One of my goals is to earn at least $15,000 per month, which equates to $180,000 per year. So I graphically edited the number. So the total number, I didn't think it would be realistic to have 180000.00 cents as my total. So I just wanted to mix it up and I created a total random number based on like my birthday, favorite numbers, and just how easy it would be to copy and paste numbers over each other. And I came out with the total being 182,428.92 cents. So I looked at the piece of paper and the total is just, the total is what I wanted, you know, it's $182,000, which is my, my goal to have in a year, have in my bank account. But I looked at the four accounts above them and they didn't add up to that. So I was like, oh man, let's, okay, let's just make a rough estimate. Let's just randomly put these numbers together so it kind of looks like it, it equals 180,000, it kind of looks more realistic. So again, in the four account numbers, I randomly copied and pasted based on my numbers, my birthday, and just moving numbers around. And I looked at the piece of paper and I'm like, wow, that looks good, you know? I should have stopped there, but I could have stopped there. But the perfectionist in me said, said, you know what, get a calculator out, make sure these you add up, and let's make it more realistic where the numbers actually add up to the 182,428.92 cents. My first thought was like, Phew, for reals? I have to do way more editing, I have to actually do math and put numbers together. Um, it was crazy because I, I got my calculator out, let me cover my account numbers. So these are the four numbers that I randomly put together. I created this number first randomly, um, 182,428.92 cents. And when I got the calculator and I added up the four numbers in the accounts, they equaled the random total that I put together, they equaled it exactly. Don't know how to explain it. I'm sure probability, there's mathematical statistics, there's you know chance or whatever. Whatever it is, I don't really care right now because it got me to the feeling where I know I can make this happen. I know whatever it is, it, it got me that energy. I'm like, wow, I, this can happen. This didn't happen. This was an act. This wasn't an accident. It happened for a reason. You know, whatever the reason was. But I know with a certain like confidence. If I saw you in person, I could look you in the eye and say, I know I'm going to make $180,000 in a year, and I'm going to reach that, and I'm going to reach the, put the bar higher, and I'm continue growing. You know, I'm not going to stop. But that was just a cool thing, and it just made it seem that much more real, and I don't know how to explain it, but it's awesome. So 
around that time also, um, two weeks ago, I attended this, um, this conference called I Can Do It. Um, Wayne Dyer, which is, who is an author and a speaker, was the keynote speaker. During this three-day weekend, I didn't particularly feel extra motivated, but I was getting a lot of insight, taking a lot of good notes. I was learning a lot of things and uh, meeting a lot of great people and resources. Um, but it was on my drive home that night, like 8 o'clock. Um, I was driving home, and you know, all of a sudden this motivating energy just like washed over me and I felt extra pumped up, extra motivated. I wanted to get home, write, read. Um, one thought that crossed my mind was, you know what, first thing when I get home, I'm going to look up where I could look up a, a conference or a seminar. It's based on just improving your motivation. I got to look that up, I'm sure. I don't know if it's the right time, it's almost the end of the year, maybe next year 2012, hopefully I can catch one. Um, but the funny thing is, I drive down this one road, this one street all the time. Uh, almost on a daily basis, and there's this motel on the right side. Motel is kind of beat up. Um, I, I see it all the time. I pass every time I pass it, I see it because I look at it. It's next to the gas station, and I just look at it. I'm like, oh man, I would not want to stay there. Um, but the funny thing is, with this, when I was so motivated and I was so pumped up, I looked at that. I passed that same motel that I always pass. But the difference this time was, I noticed this billboard, and there's this huge billboard. If you could see the motel, there's no way you can miss that billboard. And on the billboard it said, Get Motivated Seminars. Whew. I have no idea why. I did my research and that billboard has been up. So the funny thing is I always saw that motel, but I never saw that billboard. I don't know why, what it is. Does it have to do with my motivational energy? I felt motivated. I, I was this energy alignment. That's why this time I consciously, physically saw the billboard. I'm gonna Actually, I can show you right now. That billboard has always been up, but I don't know why I was missing it. So check this out focus so I always saw this hotel I'm um, this motel I always saw it but I never saw this which is even bigger than the motel sign so that brings me to the question to me it's exciting because why did it happen why did I see it? why is this occurring you know maybe it's a little thing to other people but there's a reason why suddenly I was conscious about that sign about getting motivated my thought was you know I want to go to the seminar about getting motivated it came to me you know I don't know how to explain that so then my last story is, it happened last night, so I was writing the song, I was composing these lyrics to a track that I was writing based on an article from Steve Pavlina. Um, his article was entitled, Achieve Your Goals by Improving Your Character. It's basically the same uh, concept where if you're here and you want to achieve your goals, um, you, need, you have a certain set of character, um, you know, like discipline, um, self-confidence, self-awareness, self-esteem, discipline. Like I said before, and things like that. But you need to get to that level where you have that increased level where, you know, what, how much courage would you need to achieve your dreams? How much self-discipline would you need to achieve your dreams? So it's, you need to fill that gap so you can achieve your goal. So I was writing one of my last lines before going to bed. I talked about um, self-esteem and self-confidence. So I went to bed, and that's the last line. My last conscious thought was about self-esteem, self-confidence. And I thought... You know, what's the difference? Are they the same thing? What is, what the, what is self-confidence? What is self-esteem? But as long, I was already in bed and I didn't want to get up, go to dictionary.com, look it up and do that research. But I was in bed and I passed out. That was my last conscious thought. So I woke up the next day, which is today, and I didn't think about it all day. The funny thing is, I, I did not think about it, didn't look it up or research it, but I, I got this package. And the package was a book. And the book is called Making a Living Without a Job. By Barbara Winter and within the first like in the beginning of the book it cites like the authority on self-esteem and it talks about the difference between self-esteem and self-confidence that pumped me up motivated to shoot this video because these little things are happening all the time um, I don't know why um, it's it's something where I, I said I want answers to something without even looking for the answers they're coming to me this book came to me Oh, another thing is, the author, <laughs> I'm going to be meeting her early November. Like, I'm going to have a personal one-on-one -on -one lunch with her, or brunch with her. <sighs> this, I just wanted to share this with you. A lot of these things are happening right now. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I'm definitely loving it. You know, if I could get to that state where I could figure out the science behind it, or figure out why it's happening, I could teach others how to get into this energy state. <sighs> That's one of my missions. That's like true to my goals, you know. Um, if I had to make a guess, I would have to say that right now I'm coming from a place of gratitude. I'm coming from a place of love. I'm coming from a place where I just want to give and share. And 
I feel like God, the world, the universe is giving back to me just as much as I'm putting out, even giving me back more than I'm putting out there. So I definitely am very grateful for you listening to me, watching this video. Keep your head up, continue moving forward, and I'll see you at the top. Thank you.